Okay, good morning, consumer behavior class. It is Monday the 25th, and we're already on our third week, believe it or not. So I wanted to say great job on all the discussion posts and homework for this class. Very in-depth, very complete. Um, in some cases, more than you probably need, but um, I'm very impressed. And we had a 100% submission rate out of this class. So Great job. Can't say that for some of my other classes, uh, but with this class, awesome job. And I um, wanted to just kind of point out a word that's really important for this next upcoming week. Uh, it is the word perception. What is your perception? Is your perception your reality? And the answer is yes. But what is perception and how is perception played in our lives as well as in advertising. How do we perceive products? Is a Mercedes that much better than a Toyota Camry at more than double the cost? Is it really that much better? We perceive it to be because of how the ads are made and how the brand is. But uh, car to car, is it really as good as a Mercedes? Um, and other things that uh, you, you perceive with on ads is very critical for you to understand how you got there and how your perception is your reality and whether or not that leads to spending more money. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you on perception is how do we view maybe other countries, other cultures, other people? Um, you're going to look at three examples in the discussion board. And I'd like to see what your perception was before you watch the video and then after. Uh, if we perceive a place to be really run down, we attach that to the people we meet from those places. And in international culture and international relations, we end up treating them differently. Perception is extremely dangerous. The only way to fix your perception and make your reality a true reality is for you to educate yourself on a particular place, especially going there, you will see that your perception was completely different. I know for me, going to 49 different countries, every single country, including North Korea, was completely different than what I thought. Same thing with the people. So, Pay particular attention to the word perception in the chapter. Make sure you understand it. Make sure you understand the dangers. Take a look at those discussion posts. And then we'll talk a little bit about the word propaganda. That's not in the chapter, but that goes with perception. And what is it? And how does it control our minds? So if anybody would like to talk one-on-one -on -one about it. They have some good ideas or some questions. You know that my office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 10. You can call me on Teams. You can call me on my phone. Um, back and forth on email, having discussions is not something I'm interested in. Uh, if you have a question, a short question, that's fine. But, you know, want me to detail a bunch of stuff on email, is it's too much. And please do not text me. I still get texts from students. It's either call me, email me, or uh, you can video me and we can have a video chat through Teams. Hope you have a great week and I'll talk to uh, some of you throughout the week, I guess. Have a great week. Stay safe.